This is the energy vibration reading for the Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the month of January 2018. Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you to all the Virgos out there who have been supporting my channels and all the subscribers, all the new and old subscribers. Thank you very much. I'm hoping that you stay. Um, this is the year 2018 and this is the month of January. Please go and um, listen to the first portal. That is a video that was uploaded for the first three months of this year 2018. And please listen to your son moon and rising sign the energy of this month is as a fire energy and you carry the energy of justice whatever the situation whatever that needs to be that was unjust in this month is going to be justified for you Virgo so this is going to be a very very positive month for all the injustice and equalities to be um, balanced out okay so let's look and see what it is that you have in this month in the first week you have the energy of the three of cups this is a wonderful energy this is the energy of so um, 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 celebrations and this is the energy of working together with people and being happy with what you have and where you are and how you have come forward with this this is a wonderful positive energy this is the energy of a celebration as we move forward we have the seven of ones the energy of seven of ones is that you're protecting yourself from a situation whatever that situation could be there is a lot of things that is coming at you and you could have win a lot suit and that sort of a thing you could be working and uh, people could be working against you and trying to work against you whatever the situation is you are seeing that you're protecting yourself from this energy and the situation that is coming at you um, in the third week you have the energy of the king the king the king of um, uh, this is someone who is 40 and is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and you have this energy of this man and you're trying to protect yourself from this person whoever they are and um, and then this person sorry this person whoever they are is someone who you have known for your past lifetime or someone who you have known in this lifetime it could be a father for some people it could be someone who you work with it so it could be a friend and you're saying and you're thinking you know I really don't need this person in my life because um, I don't see what is this relationship all about and what is this all about and you're trying to protect yourself it's as if you're not taking calls from this person you or you know it's as if this person um, irritates you in the sense that um, it is someone who doesn't keep his words and um, you are thinking I don't know really what is the lesson from this relationship but I just need to like keep myself and protect myself from this person because um, they um, you know like it's touching every vein in your in your body and that's not what you want so let's look and see what is going to connect you with um, the celebration in the first week and the second week um, you have the energy of the ten of cups and this is wonderful so whatever the situation is whatever that is happening you have the energy of the ten of cups and with the energy of the ten of cups what is happening is a happy happy um, family situation is a happy celebration which is coming out from the first week uh, into the second week the first half of the second week because uh, the uh, second half of the second week is that you are protecting yourself from these situation because you know it's a happy week in the first week of uh, it's a new year and that sort of a thing a whole lot of celebration but uh, whenever it comes to the second week the second half of uh, the second week is as if you start protecting yourself from this so I'm seeing this happening for some women that um, there is an, a, a fish, a, a cancer, a scorpion, or or a, a, yeah, a, a Pisces, a cancer, a scorpion, and you're like protecting yourself from this person because you're thinking, oh my God, I really don't need this person in my life right now. And as we move forward, we have the, the energy of the second week. Energy of the second week um, connecting with the third week is 
um, the eye princess and the eye princess comes in the eye princess comes in to tell you something the eye princess wants you to be aware of a situation the eye princess is here and let's see what is her message because um, the king this this um, king of um, this this king what is happening here is that um, you both are psychically connected but it's as if there's just so many things that is connecting and going on that you're not really happy about and you need to protect yourself because you are uh, or too much in um, emotionally connected to this person and you need to release that as we look to see what the eye prints have with the connection of the third week and the fourth week you have the energy of the two of swords you're not seeing a situation clearly with the king of cups and the happiness okay um, and sometimes because you're an earth sign person sometimes um, you're just not seeing a situation clearly sometimes you're not understanding maybe this person have all the things that he's not saying and um, um, this king of cups uh, um, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm getting for some people that some women um, have an um, it's not really a relationship it's someone who you see um, but this king of cup is not being honest to you because he's happy where he is and you're not seeing a situation you know it's for some reason something is there's something that is not being said there's some information some things that is not being said um, I, 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 he's saying one thing but um, it's not true and you know there is a situation that is playing out which and and this is why you're you're protecting yourself from him because um, for who whoever you are it's like a, a fling um, something that you know you just started out casually it, it, it becomes uh, it's not really serious but this man you just in you know within you have a feeling that this man is not saying not speaking the truth and and, and you really really feel this and um, it's as if things are not clear to you and what is happening is that you know you just need to protect yourself from this person and let's see what else is happening because before I I say anything um, the three of Pentacles this is wonderful this is wonderful this is wonderful um, there is the energy of the three of Pentacles with um, the ten of cups so happiness um, you're happy with yourself you're connecting with your mighty I am self with your guides and angels your spirit guides are coming in and you are really happy with yourself and you're connecting with yourself and this um, sort of energy is um, very positive because what is happening for you with this sort of energy is that um, for you you are just you know being with yourself and trying to do you're making um, you're invested in yourself whatever is happening you're invested in yourself it's like as if you're, um, you're 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 blocking out certain people and certain situation because you're trying to find out who you are and you're connecting with yourself okay let's see what is happening with um, because there's a situation that you're not seeing with this king um, of cops there's a, there's a situation that is happening but there's happiness it's as if because it's a soul connection you and this king of cups is a soul connection what is the connection because there is so much things going on okay here we have the energy of the five of Pentacles the energy of the five of Pentacles okay here is the energy of the five of Pentacles okay so we have the three of Pentacles right there and we have the five of Pentacles so it's as if um, some people are you know really ecstatic uh, um, you have the 
three three of cups you have the ten of cups happiness celebration and you're you know you're working together uh, you're working uh, to to make things happen for yourself uh, and and then you have here um, the energy of uh, um, the five of Pentacles and you're not seen clearly uh, but there's a connection between you and this king of cups that is a past life situation and uh, um, you were just no I'm, I'm, I'm just um, you know just leave me alone with that sort of a thing so let's see what is going to be the outcomes let's see the outcomes the outcomes yes this is what you want to be the outcomes is that you want to find yourself you don't want to be bothered by people around you um, you really don't want to be bothered by people around you you um, whatever is happening um, some of you are just ex um, there's a lawsuit that you have won and you're happy um, and a, a situation has finally ended some of you are protecting yourself and you're connecting with your um, it because this month of January for you guys is the energy of balancing karmas you're balancing out karmas and the energy of the moon is here because um, it is the center of it because you people are very psychic so the eye princess is here in the middle and the energy of the moon is here and the psychic is here and what is happening it is that uh, your psychic is very very high and there is a situation that you're not seeing clearly and you're thinking to leave it alone you're thinking to leave it alone because um, it's a it's, it's, it's this situation with for the people who have this situation with the um, the Pisces the cancer or the scorpion it as it's as if it is a situation that came from lifetime and lifetime before and what is here happening is that you're not seeing this situation clearly there's something that you feel there's something that is not been said and you want to have happiness and peace in your life whoever um, you know is as if um, and what I'm what I'm what I'm receiving um, for some people because um, is that whoever you're connected with your woman there's a woman there's some women out there that is having extramarital relationship or you are having or maybe you are um, single and you're seeing this married man and he is not saying everything you know he is he, he is really not saying everything and you're you're a little bit confused it's as if you're in the dark because you know that there are more things but he's not saying it and um, um, what is happening is that um, you I, you know I, I, I think he's having um, financial situation this this man is having financial situation it's a it's and he is working hard and um, there is no time for you because he is uh, he's working hard but yet still he has a family and he's supposed to be home so you know there is no time that um, that he the, the, the you two are bringing together there is absolutely no time and you're thinking you know just leave me alone because this is not making any sense so you know why are we doing this I don't have any time for this you know and I know you Virgos you're like you know you're wasting my time and um, I don't need this right now in my life I I am connecting with myself I want to you know know who I am and I don't want to have this if you have a situation and you need to deal with it um, you know don't keep me as a string and don't hold me at a length so that when you have the time I should make the time for you and this is this is as if this is irritating you it's getting on your last nerves and you decided you know something uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm just putting you to the side I just don't want to deal with you anymore because 
whatever is going on you're not telling me the the truth and uh, I don't need this sort of a thing in my life let me go so I can get on with my life and that's 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 just for some women that is um, seeing someone who is if this person if he's not married he's already in a relationship and um, whatever it is it, it has something to do with his financial situation and um, it's like he doesn't have the time for you and you're th you're thinking you know just leave me alone let me focus on something else uh, I don't need this right now in my life you know go back to your wife go back to your family whatever it is so and at the other side for the people who are you know there are just some people who are just very happy that a situation is over um, whatever the injustice was uh, you know now it is balanced out you have the energy of uh, you know people keeping you off at base and that sort of a thing and some of you are just taken this month after a very hard situation after you know like injustice and that sort of a thing that you're taking the time to find um, positive energy you're, you're you're you know you you want to find this this positive energy and um, this is you know happening for you and this is going to be positive so um, it is a month of balancing out a lot of stuff a lot of stuff is being balanced out in your life and this is good because the energy of the eye princess is here when the energy of the eye princess is here what she's saying is that she is um, actually um, you know balancing out certain things that is happening and uh, you know I um, my advice to you whoever you are and whoever these people are um, it's hard because maybe you have gotten so emotionally connected to this person and it's hard but ask the agents and guides to release this person from you because obviously are you release you release this person from yourself because this is just going to cost you a lot of anguish and trust me if you hold on to this person you are blocking yourself from the next person that will come in that is a very and you know if you know look at it at this you know um, sometimes these married men and these men seems to um, get married and they can't and, and this is it I'm going to do a video over marriage because a lot of people I don't think understand what is marriage really um, let's look at this the Sun people the zodiac energy of the Sun for you Virgos the Aquarians going to come in and help you and the Librans the Aquarius and the Librans really okay let's look and see what is going to happen for the Luna people you are going to have Venus Venus and Neptune Venus and Neptune seems to be coming in for a lot working with a lot of people in um, this um, this month so uh, yeah let's see for the Sun people you are going to be having um, the Aquarians and um, uh, the Virgos oh my god it's no yes it's the Virgos oh my god I will not put on my glasses I swear I think it's the Virgos so um, so the Virgos are working together um, I told you it was a Virgos Virgos are working together with the Aquarians so um, this is good the Aquarians are coming in to work out stuff with you Virgos and this is ex extremely good this is wonderful this is um, extremely good this is positive so it's going to be a very very positive month as I look to see what is uh, this energy is for you guys um, Neptune and uh, um, Venus seems to be coming up Neptune and Venus seems to be coming up a lot of people are having this energy of Neptune and Venus seems to be coming up this is so coming up in so many ways a lot of people are you know receiving the energy of Neptune and, and Venus coming up and this is um, extremely good so whatever is happening whatever is transpiring is going to be extremely extremely good so that is a good news isn't it yes it is that is good news so let's go forward and see exactly what is happening let's go forward and see exactly what is happening let's go forward and see what is happening and this is the energy for the Virgos and this is the yin energy 
and this is saying that you need to go within and find the yin energy the power of the yin energy some of you are going to receive help you know this sort of a thing because the yin energy is the masculine because the outcomes the outcomes of uh, your month is the energy of the hangman that is uh, the outcomes of the month energy of uh, the hangman and with the energy of the hangman um what is happening for you is that the energy of the yin and the yang this is going to be good so um whatever the situation is whatever that is happening for you this is going to be good because you're going to be realizing that a lot of stuff a lot of situation is happening the female principle of receptivity letting someone else make the first move um, gathering information and taking and take in clues the heart of consciousness allowing this is a time of calculative receptionist as you gracefully await what is coming to you ready to accept it when it appears yin does not involve freeze dream or even um, resting but rather consciously allowing things to flow to you poise to receive the bounty that will be made available to you it implies a sensitivity as you alert study the actions of others and contemplate how they will affect you and yours remember you must make space for miracles to appear be the shaped and not the shaper and you will see how quickly your dreams manifest this is wonderful this is beautiful I want to say to each and every person out there enjoy this month because it's going to be a very very wonderful month namaste 